Last few days are now left for GATE 2024 and just like any competition, if you do some mistakes in these last days, your entire preparation can get wasted. But don't worry, in this video, I am going to share a plan with you. That plan will help you not only to continue your momentum, but it will also increase your GATE performance by 20 to 25 marks. And while sharing this plan, I will also answer some of your questions like how many full length tests should you write, how to minimize mistakes in your full length test attempts and what are some of the do's and don'ts of revision in the last month. So make sure that you watch till the end. Now the plan that I am going to share with you, that is not going to be a super complicated plan. Generally what happens when you see a super complicated heavy plan, Aisa lagta hai ki, yaar, wow, what a plan. Ye aisa plan. Isi ko karne se, I'll get rank. But that's not the case. Most of the times, that's not the case. Especially in last month or last few days. If you started following a wrong plan or a complicated plan, which is not possible to execute, you know what will happen? After 7, 10, 10 days, you have to change your plan. And doing that in last month, is just blunder. If in last few 20-30 days, 7-10 days you wasted in a wrong plan, that is a blunder now because now you anyway you are having very less time and almost half of that you wasted in a wrong plan. That is why the plan that I am going to share with you will look a simple plan but it is executable plan. A plan which will ensure that you go in the right direction. You don't lose track. You are on the right path and you actually improve your gate performance by 20-25 marks. Let us start planning by calculating, by counting that how many number of days are left for gate 2024. Now, when I am recording this, 30-31 days are left. But in this plan, I am not counting last 5-6 days because for last 5-6 days, the plan is slightly different, right? So I am only telling you the plan, what you need to follow before till 5 days are left for gate. That is why we are not writing 30 or 31 here. Let me just write 25 days here. Okay. And in all these 25 days, on an average per day, how many hours will you be devoting to gate preparation? So it is hours per day right now. Some of you will be... Uh, you know, giving, I am sure, more than 10, 11, 12 hours. But this plan is going to be a realistic plan. I am not going to share a plan with you which looks good on paper or on this uh, sheet, but you cannot execute it. So I will share a plan which is a doable plan, which means that target will not be too high or it will not be very less. I won't say that just prepare 3, 4, 5 hours. No, this, this is last month that you have, right? You have to give in your 100%. You have to reach your peak performance. So definitely, approximately 8 hours per day you will have to give. It's very easy. A giving 8 hours per day for last one month is very easy. 2-3 hours in the morning, 3 hours during evening or night and during the daytime, 2 hours, right? This is for those who are maybe in college. For those of you who are giving, doing full-time preparation, I'm sure 8 hours per day is very easy. That means anyone can do it. So if I count it, the total number of hours that you have right now will be 25 multiplied by 8, which is 200 hours. Okay. Please note, this is an average number for some of you who maybe start implementing this from today itself. You may have 30 days, 31 days, right? Or some of you who will be giving 12 hours per day, this time of 8, this number of 8 will be maybe 12 or 10 or 11, right? So do note that this is a plan which you can slightly modify as per your specific performance, right? So in these 200 hours now, what we have to do? Where do we have to focus? What are the key areas? If you will try to touch everything, everything means that I'll completely solve Topic test also, completely solve subject test also, I'll completely solve question bank also, I'll do this also, that also. And if you make a list of 15 items to do, trust me, your plan is going to fail. You will not be able to do that effectively. In last days, last month, you have to focus on what is going to work best for you, right? So there are three areas where you have to focus, which are essential 
and in fact sufficient to focus for last month for last few days number one is you have to attempt full length test you have to attempt FLTs number two is analysis of those FLTs and improvement in your performance in FLTs in those three hours and number three of course is revision and revision and revision right so revision obviously it's something which I'm sure you know that you have to do so I have written these three points FLT analysis plus improvement and revision in this plan and let us call this plan as plan A as plan A why plan A because I will tell you one more plan plan B also just wait I'll discuss that in some minutes now in FLT how many FLTs will you have to write and how much of your time they will take so these two things I have written values and hours now an approximate number of FLTs that you can write in last one month I'll say it will be 10 FLTs right you can go more than that also it can be less than that also but let's say 10 FLTs you can write one FLT means three hours of your time so 10 FLTs means 30 hours of your time right so if you're writing 10 FLTs 10 FLTs it will require you how much time 30 hours right giving three hours every three day roughly that's what we can say that every three day you have to spend three hours in writing FLTs Achha, some of you might be thinking sir what about if we can't write 10 FLTs what about I can only write six or seven so don't worry I'll come to that in plan B so there's one more plan for some students who may not be able to follow this plan okay so coming to second point which was analysis plus improvement analysis plus improvement as I told you and I'm repeating it here means if you are writing full length test without analyzing suppose there's a student who is writing one full length test daily daily he is writing almost 30 FLTs he has written but he's not analyzing where his weak areas are what numerical solving skills he need to build how to plan for those three hours if he's not focusing on that now only blindly writing FLTs 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 it's going to make no difference right this is why even everyone is writing those FLTs right if there are 15 18 FLTs in exergic let's say every student is writing those FLTs but how come some students are able to improve rest are not able to improve because FLTs obviously you have to give the quality should be there the balance should be there but if you don't analyze your attempt how will you know your specific weakness that is why analyzing and improving is important what to do in analysis I have already made a detailed video on analysis of test series you can watch that video here after this video once you have completed this plan then you want to know more about how to analyze so that link I will also put in the first comment or in the description you can check so you will be able to watch it but roughly if I give you the idea there is one important you know learning you should have from analysis which is your exam writing strategy how you should plan those three hours what are your weakness in writing gate in those three hours that you have to plan that yeah, if I get two consecutive tough question I start to panic in last 30 minutes my accuracy drops I'm just giving you example what are the different things that you can look for in your performance here yeah, when I start writing test I start writing gate also I'll write it very slowly I'll carefully check everything but then my speed goes very low speed gets less I start spending five minutes seven minutes and then in last 30 minutes I have 15 20 different questions left and then I start to write fast then I panic then I miss question then I make mistake I'm just giving you an example of how to analyze your performance in those three hours how to make a test writing strategy this is not the right way if I'm spending five six seven minutes I'll mark it for review I'll move to the next one I have to reach the end question at least 30 minutes before gate in two and a half hours so that I have rest 30 minutes left with me to review whatever question I could not solve so these are different strategy you can make as I told you I have already talked about all these things so these are different strategies you can make by writing FLTs by analyzing your attempt that what mistake you did that only you know right in your mind you know what you did in what question that why you made a mistake in an easy question because last two three questions one after the other were difficult so you started to panic so you made a mistake so then you can learn it about yourself ki bhai, questions are randomized it is possible that I can get two three very difficult questions one after the other I don't have to panic I have to relax 
एंड आई हैव टू जस्ट फोकस ऑन द क्वेश्चन जो मेरे सामने है विच इज नाउ इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी सो दीज थिंग्स यू विल नो अबाउट योर सेल्फ बाय एनालाइजिंग योर फुल लेंथ टेस्ट अटेम्प्ट एंड देन हाउ टू इंप्रूव इट देर आर टू थिंग्स अगेन मेजर एरियाज ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट विच यू नीड firstly is numerical solving skills your ability to solve numericals is going to be very important it will be happening that many topics and questions from those topics even after knowing formula even after knowing concept you will not be able to solve because you might not be able to apply the concepts the knowledge that you know so application of concepts in a numerical or that we call as numerical solving skills that's why it is very much important so this is first thing where you need to focus upon to improve this skill definitely if you i'll show you how much time it takes you can definitely go for pro 50 exergic pro 50 which is perfect for last month it has a duration of 50 hours and you can definitely watch it at 1.25 and 1.5x to cover it even in lesser time that will build your numerical solving ability your ability to apply the concepts which you already know in numericals and second thing where you need to improve upon is your weak areas how will you know again all these things you will know by flts only that you are in that topic i am weak in that subject i am weak what do you have to do you have to solve some more questions from those topics what are those different questions that you can solve you can solve questions from maybe pyq maybe question bank maybe tsp topic test subject test these are all things you have to do between two flts this is the area na analysis plus improvement this area when you have to do it this you have to do between two flts you analyze you watch lectures of pro 50 very less time it will take i'll show you and then what you can do you can solve a couple of test small test topic test or some questions if not test some questions maybe pyq maybe tsp maybe question bank right which will help you focus on your weak areas only of your weak areas i'm talking about so this let's say is going to take another 50 hours of your time okay coming to the final part which is revision this is also something where students make blunders let me tell you how and why revision is not about going into the depth yaar yeah, you will be going into the into the depth in these first two things when you will be solving flts na to solve question correctly you will have to go into the depth of the concept to analyze and improve you will have to go into the depth of the concept revision is not about depth it is about frequency how many times can you revise that will reinforce the formula in your mind so if you just do one revision very slowly by going into the deep it's not that much effective more effective thing is that you do three revisions four revisions you go through them again frequently which will reinforce the formula in your mind and your ability to recall will improve drastically so what is the mistake that students do they start revising from different live youtube uh, videos that i see it is a blunder yaar i have talked to hundreds of toppers in last many years none of them not even a single topper has prepared has revised from those live youtube videos it is worst for you it wastes your time it distracts you single subject revision can take from those youtube videos can take hours and hours of time 8 8 10 10 hours of time single subject can take so entire mechanical engineering revising will easily cross 60 70 hours through those videos live videos at the same time there is chat going on there is random discussion discussion going on are that's not the point of revision bhai i am just going to tell you that this is not effective for you if you want to believe me you can or if you don't want to believe me it's your life your decision you can take but if you want to effectively revise you have to revise from short notes or formula sheet it's very easy if even if you don't have any formula sheet at this point of time now you must have written something now or were you just watching lectures like this eating popcorn you must have written even your long notes now even if you don't have short notes in your long notes only you highlight the things which you have to revise single single formula single line concepts just go through it but it's very much important to increase the frequency of revision i am telling you a speed which is very much doable which is entire mechanical engineering in one week it is very much doable four times if you have one month of time you can easily 
do four revisions four revisions in that time and one revision let's say is going to take 30 hours so 30 multiplied by 4 is 120 so 120 hours roughly you have for revision total how much time it become 200 hours that's the rough plan i know some of you may not be able to do four revisions some of you may be able to do just three revisions don't worry or maybe two revisions don't worry i have plan b also for you but please remember that revision is not about going deep it is about covering things as fast as possible i'm not saying you just you are just looking at it not even reading not even registering you have to do that but you have to ensure that you are not you know killing the purpose of revision by going into deep in every topic everything then it beats the purpose because whatever you are going to cover right now if you just revise it once chances are you may start forgetting it after three or four weeks now coming to plan b what is this plan b for whom do we have this plan b this plan b are for those students who are not able to write 10 FLTs due to whatever reason that you take more time in analysis plus improvement let's say you want to give more time in that which is fine which is perfectly fine so you think that instead of 10 FLTs I'll write maybe 7 FLTs right so for such students or those of you who are not that comfortable in writing 10 FLTs they think nah, sir, there are more things maybe college exam or maybe anything so for them this is plan B which is having 7 FLTs so total 21 hours you will be giving here coming to analysis plus improvement instead of 50 hours let's say you will be denote, devoting 60 hours here as I told you if you want to improve your performance more this is a suitable plan for you in fact this will also ensure that you can now easily cover pro 50 as well in earlier plan also 50 hours also it was possible because it has actually content which is not more than 50 hours but in 60 hours it's even more possible to improve your numerical solving skills coming to revision I'll highly recommend Kiar, if you are not able to do four revision at least go for three revision by so for every revision you take more time earlier you were taking how many are 30 hours for revision right now you take three 40 hours for revision and you just do three revisions still it will be 120 overall is 201 approximately 200 hours 21 plus 60 plus 120 some of you might be thinking that sir how is it possible sir you are saying 30 hour revision 40 hour revision how is it possible i am telling you when i was preparing for gate i had reached a revision speed in such a way that in one single day means in 8 9 10 hours i was able to revise entire mechanical engineering that was the revision speed that i reached once you will reach that speed you will realize that you are nothing goes out of here you will remember each and everything i am not saying you also make that target maybe two days will be sufficient for you maybe 20 hours is sufficient for you still i have given you 30 hours even in plan a plan b to has 40 hours per revision right so it is sufficient time trust me you have if you are taking lot more than that now if you are taking 80 90 hours then you are doing that mistake which i told you what mistake that you are going too deep you just start revising the formula if that is the case but you have to ensure that you take care of frequency yeah? even if three is undoable is not doable for you now at least try revising two times at least means that is the lowest I don't recommend that you do it two times only. Three to you must do. But still, don't just target one single revision. It's not good for you. So this is the plan. If you noticed, I have not kept the plan very complex. I can tell you a very complicated plan. Wow, what a plan. But execution you won't be able to do. Five days, seven days after you will think, this is not doable, bhai. So that is why this is not the time to make wrong plan and waste 10 days in a wrong plan. Uh, you don't have that much of time that you will re-revise your strategy after 15 days. Now, whatever strategy you are putting in, you have to ensure that it is an executable strategy. You are able to fully execute that strategy. That is why I have given you such a plan which you can easily execute. As I told you, you can download this Excel sheet link I have given in the first comment and also make sure to watch this video which is regarding how to analyze your test series attempt i wish you all the best